So let's start with the backstory and, and tell me why this particular problem needed fixed. I can tell you how the process actually started. Um, you know, with her dad, uh, the police chief here in Oskaloosa, it started with going over to introduce myself. Senator Rosenboom and myself took some treats over there. Um, and we started talking about the page position and, and how it was available. Um, he said that, you know what, my daughter would be really maybe interested in that. And so over the next couple months, um, some conversations, you went up and visited. Mm -hmm. um, she applied and um, I mean, you can go from there, but that's kind of the beginning of how the process started. A lot of people don't know about the PAGE program, so. Yeah, so growing up, I always, you know, loved government class and being hands-on within the system, but um, this was a great opportunity to be, you know, in the process itself. Yeah. I definitely would think that the PAGEs um, learn more about just the process in general. I mean, you can learn the book of knowledge, but to actually see it, work through it, follow legislation and see how many steps it takes and the changes, it's a, gr I mean, it's just a great, um, you know, education for the future too, um, to really learn. You can learn and study, but to really put it hands on and, and seeing it from beginning to end is, is a great experience um, that 25 kids a year get. So I wanted to make sure, um people like pages in the future that were selected were able to get school credit since it was such a long uh, you know 40 hour week and then plus they have school on top of that so it was just going to be easier for them to manage their classes in discussion I was like here here's how she can do it um, tell your personal story that's what a lot of the legislation is, is you know that comes from you know our constituents and people is life story what they had to go through and how we can fix it and make it better and so uh, on the Senate side she did that Let's kind of go through that process. So how did, how did that work for you? Did, did you draw it up on a napkin one day during <laughs> lunch, or what, what, what happened? Well, so Senator Smith, he helped me a lot through the whole process. Um, there were a lot of different choices that I had in mind, but I wanted something that would really stick out to help future pages. Um, yeah, so we first drew it up just as like a big idea. Um, once that became an idea, once that became a plan, uh, he drew it up in state committee where it ran through the uh, house as a whole on the floor, right? I'm not sure if you stayed on the Senate side. No. It came over. It would have went through committee and then uh, it went through state government on the floor. It was voted and they sent it to the house um, where it was given to education. Um, and so we had a committee on it um, with Dustin Height, you know, Representative Height he chairs the education, so he, I actually asked, I was like, hey, I've been working on this, can I make sure I have this bill? He also put himself on the committee, so that was good. Um, and then we took it through uh, education committee, um, and then we kind of spoke to the speaker and uh, said, you know, this is really important. This is a page doing this, she's from my district. I really think this is an important thing. Um, but one of the things that really stood out is not only does it count for basically a semester of your social studies, but it also during that time um, exempted PE because we heard from some pages that they were videotaping themselves doing jumping jacks and sending it back home at night. Mm -hmm. um, and I, as a mom, was like, oh, I'm not sure that's the best idea. I know PE is important. I have, that is not what this was about at all, but these pages are running all day long. Um, I'm sure she could tell you about, like how many steps she took a day. Yeah. It would be amazing to know. Um, but we wanted to make sure that that was an opportunity too, because you know, sometimes these girls or these pages are there 10, 12 hours, the next, the last thing they need to do is sit there and do jumping jacks and run stairs and videotape it and send back home. And not every school was doing that, not every page had to, but there were several that did. And so that's why that's also a part of the legislation. But then it, and you're of course a Senate page, what'd you feel like when, when that started to be uh, debated? I was a little nervous. There was some controversy with the PE exemption. But overall, I'm very happy that the senators were wanting to help us, and they knew that we went through some struggles. <laughs> Butterflies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty nervous. So it, when it passed the Senate, what did you feel? I was very excited. Um, I was definitely a little surprised, because I wasn't sure how this was going to go. I knew some of the senators were a little um, confused as to why PE was going to be exempt. But once it passed, I was very pleased with how everything went. And so then it gets sent to the House. Today. Yep. And so you're watching it make that process through the House and Holly, you're, you're kind of helping steer this from kind of like the rudder. So. <laughs> yeah, you know, it got sent to the House. It was uh, assigned to education. And so, um, you know, there was 
two from the majority party and one from the minority at the uh, subcommittee. But one of the greatest things I think is all the pages from the House and the Senate showed up to support it and to support her. And I just think that says a lot. I mean, one thing that I believe it's 25 a year get picked to be a page and two of them are from the Oskaloosa area this year. And I think that is amazing. They both did an outstanding job. Um, Paven was amazing as well this whole year. Um, but they all showed up to support each other. So they actually got your first group picture because yeah. they've never been together. But they all had the, um, they knew what it was like to be a page. They knew what they were all having to do extra. And so they all came together um, to help move it forward. So we have a good big group picture of all of them. Um, and then from there it went to the education committee um, you know, there was a few questions on the, on the PE stuff and some other issues, but once we kind of explained a little bit more about that and that it wasn't, um, the why it had to be in there, it was, it would be beneficial, I should say. Um, they went to the floor and, uh, she joined me. That was great. So we could, I let her know when things were going on so she could come over, um, and join us. So that was a, a great, I was glad she could do that as well to help see the process through because, um, from my understanding, and I've asked a few other people, this is the first page to ever get legislation through, both chambers and to the governor's desk. So it lands on the governor's desk, and I think you're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me let me understand how that felt for you. We tell everybody how you reacted that day. What were you feeling? <laughs> I was very excited. A lot of my friends, the other pages from, from the Senate and some pages from the House, came to join for that ceremony, for, and they got to see it signed. Um, of course, I couldn't have done it without Holly Brink and Senator Smith, but once it, once it got there, it just, it didn't even feel real. <laughs> it was very, very exciting. Yeah, um, just, it was a great opportunity, and I'm glad I was able to, you know, make something out of it. Um, but I look forward to the kids in the future hearing their stories about what they come up with and seeing how far they can get as well.